Welcome to Swiftly Explained and this is part 2 of every Chiefs game that Taylor Swift has ever attended. In part 1 we covered the first 6 Chiefs games that she attended so make sure to check that out as well. The 7th game that Taylor attended was on December 17th and it was against the New England Patriots. The Chiefs won this game with 27 points. Taylor arrived with her backup singers, friends and her father Scott. She went to her suite as usual, and everyone that couldn't get to wish her happy birthday on December 13th wished her a happy birthday. Taylor's dad brought her birthday's leftover cake as well and shared it with the fans and the audience next to the suite. Brittany was also in attendance as always and both of them cheered on their team together. Taylor even picked Brittany up in adrenaline as she cheered for Travis. The atmosphere in the stadium was filled with fun and happiness and everyone seemed to have a great time as they cheered together. Taylor's friends pointed out some of the fans that were trying to gain Taylor's attention. Taylor caught sight of them and enthusiastically waved back, saying hi to everyone. She was even seen drinking out of a cup as she waved to fans. The game got really tough at one point and Travis was pushed to the ground by the opponent team member. Taylor was seen yelling the F-word and saying she wanted to see that back. Whenever the NFL pointed camera towards Taylor, the dads, Brads and Chads started to boo. She was seen getting a bit annoyed with it but shook it off because even though some people were mad the rest of the stadium was applauding and happy to see her there. They even made custom cookies for Taylor and she was seen later tipping the staff in $100 bills. She was seen talking and discussing the plays as well and having an interactive conversation with friends in the suite. The next game was on Christmas, 25th December and it was against the Raiders. This might have been the most devastating loss for the Chiefs as they only managed to score 14 points and the Raiders scored 20. They sat in the golf cart as usual. Taylor arrived in Christmas-themed clothes and Austin, her brother, came dressed as Santa Claus. They made their way inside the stadium greeting everyone a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The game was tough from the beginning and Taylor watched intently. Travis and Taylor's whole family was there and everyone was seen talking and mingling. Taylor was seen talking to Ed, Travis' dad and all of the family members seemed to have a good time in the suite. That was probably why it was the toughest game to lose because everyone was in hometown, praying for the Chiefs yet they lost terribly. Taylor was seen dancing and lifting everyone's moods. Everyone cheered enthusiastically when the Chiefs scored and Taylor rung the bell. She was even seen yelling yes Travis when he caught ball. It was a fun vibe in the suite and everyone seemed excited until the Chiefs started losing. Taylor was even seen talking to a little girl as everyone cheered for their team. Taylor wore a hat with Travis's 87 jersey number proudly as she cheered for him, and she looked absolutely breathtaking as well in her cute outfit. Our player That's it. of the game right there so far. Then the game went south when Travis accidentally dropped a catch. It was extremely cold and the team was unable to perform well. Travis was absolutely devastated. He threw his helmet on the ground in rage. The person tried to give his helmet back, but Andy Reid got furious and grabbed his helmet instead. He had a word with Travis to pull himself together for the sake of the game. Everyone said that it was not a good look for Travis to throw a temper tantrum like this in front of his and Taylor's whole family. Patrick tried to hype everyone up as well. The teams had a back and forth with each other and everyone seemed angry. Taylor tried her best to cheer everyone up, but it was a horrible loss for the Chiefs. Later they were photographed leaving the stadium together. The next game she went to was on December 31st and it was against the Bengals. The Chiefs won this game by 25 points. She was seen hanging out with his friends and talking throughout the game.
she was seen wearing Travis's jacket, which he wore in the previous game. She seemed to be buddies with his friends and... So we get another division stamp? Fuck off! They're literally my whole brand. Oh. She was really invested in the game as the match got tied. But thankfully the Chiefs won the match and everyone couldn't be happier. Taylor started to happy dance as soon as she spotted Travis dancing on the field. It was a wholesome moment for everyone. Later, Travis and Taylor left in the getaway cart and he had his hand on her thigh. She cuddled up to him as they went towards Travis's car and he drove her home. Then they went to a New Year's after party. They shared their New Year's kiss as the clock struck 12. Three, two, one. They were discreetly videotaped and Travis had his arms around her all night as they kissed and cuddled. Taylor was seen wearing a tight golden dress with her hair up in a bun. The next game Taylor went to was on January 13, 2024, and it was against the Dolphins. The Chiefs managed to win this one as well. It was minus 4 degrees in Kansas City, but Travis and the team seemed fired up. Taylor had to scratch the ice off of the windows with a card in order to see the game because it was so cold. The commentators joked that they needed to provide a better view for her later. They sat in the suite with the open windows and Taylor was seen blowing hot air out of her mouth and seeing it turn into fog. Taylor sat in the suite with Brittany and Donna Kelsey and was seen talking with a hand over her mouth to stop people from lip reading like they did with the conversation between Selena and Taylor at the award show. She seemed to enjoy herself to the fullest as she danced with the crowd on swag and surf. It is Chief's signature song that they play to hype up the players in between breaks. She seemed to get into it and Donna Kelsey was seen joining it as well. In the halftime she was seen cleaning up all the cups. Game seemed to get tough at one point and Taylor was heard yelling with the crowd. Travis played with great strength and scored multiple touchdowns. He caught the ball and managed to dash across the field and score a touchdown which made Taylor enthusiastic. She clapped and blushed as she saw her man winning on the field. It was an adorable moment. It was extremely cold, but Travis gave all he could to win the game. She later did extra effort to high-five the crowd even though she had to go halfway out the window to greet everyone. She was also seen singing along to a country song along with the fans. She seemed to love her fans and waved at them whenever she got the chance. They seemed to enjoy just looking at her and watch her watch the game in awe. At one point Taylor also gave her scarf to one of the fans after she noticed that she was getting really cold. They all talked and seemed to be like family. Taylor was wearing a custom-made jacket and requested to have Travis's jersey number all over it. She seemed to proudly show off her love for Travis and rock the whole look with a cute beanie on her head. Later after the game, both the couples, Brittany, Patrick, Taylor and Travis were seen leaving the stadium hand in hand with cute smiles on their faces. It was yet another memorable day for the Chiefs fans. The next game Taylor attended was on January 21st and it was against the Bills. It was a close game but Chiefs took home another victory. When Taylor arrived at the game, the Bills fans started yelling in rage but she responded like a queen. Bills by a billion! <laughs> Travis played incredibly and did multiple touchdowns and the Bills fans started booing. He gracefully gave them heart hands like a king and moved on. Soon Jason Kels took the spotlight off of Taylor when he jumped out of the suite and went crazy. Taylor also chatted with Jason's wife Kylie and she seemed nervous and excited. They seemed to be buddies already as they laughed and talked. After that, Travis did another incredible catch and touchdown and the people in the suite went wild. He threw the ball in her direction and did the fearless heart hands towards her. Brittany and Taylor yelled with happiness. It was hugs and smiles all around and Taylor seemed comfortable with everyone around her. Hey, remember that. She high-fived Jason and also cheered when Pacheco did a touchdown. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Five minutes, ten minutes. Remember. 
Brittany and Taylor cheered wildly and Taylor's hat almost fell off. She high-fived Jason again, and he was all smiles for her. Jason actually became highlight of the game and showed why he is one of the most loved players in the NFL. He took pictures with fans holding a Taylor Swift poster. She was also caught in the back of someone's video as well. It was a perfect night and people couldn't get enough of seeing Jason and Taylor finally interact with each other. The 12th game Taylor went to was the AFC Championship on January 28th, and it was against the Ravens. Taylor sat in the suit along with her friends and cheered for Travis Kelsey as he did a touchdown. She was seen swooning over him as he skillfully played on the field. They continued to show her on the big screen, and eventually she got annoyed and mouthed for them to go away please so they'd stop showing her. Later she moved into the suite where Travis's whole family was sitting along with Jason and Kylie. She seemed to be part of the family already. After they won the match, Taylor followed everyone out and they made their way onto the field. Taylor quietly followed behind Donna Kelsey and said that she didn't know what to do. It was extremely crowded and cameras were everywhere ready to capture every moment. They led her towards the team and Travis met his mother first, then moved to give Taylor the biggest hug. Big guy. What's up, sweetie? It was such a wholesome moment and everyone was crying happy tears for them. Then he met his dad but kept one arm around Taylor all the time even though she gave him space to meet other people. Taylor was blushing and smiling and Travis asked where she was sitting and she pointed towards the suite they were sitting in. She told him that she was incredibly proud of him, and they couldn't stop kissing each other. The fans captured multiple angles of them cuddling against each other, and it couldn't be more sweet than this. Travis was beyond happy to see his girl on the field, and did not want to let go. Later on they started to walk and Travis told everyone to back away. He asked where his brother was and she told him that he was just following them behind. They turned around and started walking and looking for Jason with their arms around each other. As soon as they saw Jason, Taylor gave him space and he hugged his brother. Travis started to cry as Jason told him that he deserved that victory. Taylor stepped out of the frame so they could have their moment, but as soon as they finished greeting each other, Travis started to look for Taylor again and went towards her. After that the team went up to the stage to give their speech. Taylor stood with Ed Kelsey and watched the event. As soon as she saw Donna Kelsey crying, she went up to give her the biggest hug. She sat with her for the rest of the speech and watched Travis rock the stage. She was crying, laughing, smiling and blushing the whole time to see her man shine. It was a wholesome and memorable moment for everyone as Travis said that they were ready to win the Super Bowl. After the event was finished Travis went up to Taylor and told her that he was going to spend some time with the boys now and bid her goodbye. Clear away, guys. Both said I love you and then Taylor walked off the field with Donna. The people yelled that she was ruining football and Taylor carelessly replied that she didn't do anything. The night ended with happiness and smiles and love that seemed inseparable. The 13th game Taylor went to was the Super Bowl on February 11, 2024, and it was against the 49ers. She came to the game along with her whole family including Andrea. Travis paid $1 million for her suite so she could enjoy the game with her friends. Taylor and Blake swayed away as Post Malone performed. There was a lot of tension when the scores got tied, but the Chiefs managed to take the ball home. Taylor was screaming with joy whenever Travis caught the ball or when the team scored a touchdown. She even gulped down a glass when she was shown on the screen. She chugged down the full glass in one breath. The final winning moment took place and they finally managed to win the game, erupting cheers from everywhere. Taylor was almost getting squeezed into the crowd as they all cheered in excitement. The celebration song came and they all started dancing to the beat with full force. Taylor also hugged Jason Kelsey and introduced him to Ice Spice. Kylie also seemed to have a fun discussion with Taylor as they talked in the suite. Travis was moved to tears as everyone cheered for the win and Coach Reed congratulated the team members. Taylor finally started to go down the field with Donna and everyone else to greet Travis. 
Travis first greeted his mother just like always and then moved to hug Taylor with happiness. Cameras surrounded the couple to capture each and every moment between them as they kissed and talked. There were multiple shots of them cuddling, talking and kissing and the fans couldn't get enough of them. Everyone was moved to tears by the special moment between them as Taylor told him how proud she was of him. Their scene seemed something out of a romance movie as Taylor told him how much she loved him. They didn't let go of each other and Travis kept an arm around her all the time as they greeted other people. Then the team went up on stage and Travis gave his victory speech, leaving Taylor smiling shyly. Travis blew a kiss towards her direction and Taylor happily blew kisses back towards him as she saw him on the stage. Jason also listened to him speak as he said his signature sentence of you gotta fight for your right to party. Taylor laughed alongside Donna and it was a memorable moment for all. She happily hopped up and down and waved at everyone around her. Then the real part of the night happened when everyone went to the after party to celebrate. Taylor and Travis entered the club together with their arms around each other. All the team members as well as Taylor's friends and Jason joined the after party. She wore Travis's jacket around her shoulders as they entered. The party was incredible, loud and filled with people dancing and screaming along to songs. Travis and Taylor went wild and Travis stood near the booth and hyped everyone up. Taylor's parents were also there and Taylor later posted a TikTok saying that she did not know the party wasn't family-friendly as she posted a embarrassed video of herself. Taylor also sat with Jason Kelsey and they were like brother and sister as Taylor talked to him in the crowd and hugged him sweetly. They had to talk in each other's ears because the music was extremely loud. Travis kept dancing even as he sat near Taylor and Jason because he was so hyped after winning the Super Bowl. Taylor and Travis were also touching each other all night. They cuddled and kissed each other every few seconds and were seen talking sweetly in each other's ears. Travis only separated from Taylor when he went towards the DJ to sing and dance. Taylor seemed comfortable with Travis and did not let him go. Throughout the night they were like two lovebirds smitten with each other. She touched his hair, his beard and kept kissing him on the cheeks telling him how proud she was of him. Taylor also sung along to her own lyrics when they played her song Anti-Hero with three drinks in her hand. Taylor yelled the lyrics out loud, fully getting into it, and Travis danced nonstop even though he was tired from the game. They visited multiple clubs and celebrated like there's no tomorrow. The DJ played a remix of You Belong with Maine and Travis proudly went up to the DJ and sung along to every word. He pointed towards Taylor as he sung. She pointed back and the shock and happiness was clear on her face as he sung her lyrics. They partied together and Taylor was seen dancing all night and drinking every now and then. The best moment of the night for everyone was when Taylor and Travis danced to a remix of Love Story. It seemed something out of a fairy tale as Travis proudly sung along and danced to her song. None of Taylor's boyfriends have ever supported her like this by openly singing her songs without any hesitation. Taylor seemed to be living her dream and everyone was extremely happy for her because she has finally found her soulmate. There were multiple angles of them dancing and Travis placed his hand on her stomach as he hugged her from behind as they danced. Meanwhile Jason was jamming all alone near the booth without a single care in the world. People were left speechless. This was the first time Taylor had ever been this public with her relationship and everyone was living for it. And it felt like the perfect ending of a movie we've all been watching. Subscribe for part 3 in which we will be recapping all the new games Taylor attended this season to support Travis.